Hi everyone, this is Michael from Floropulse, and today I'm excited to show you how to install our sensors into trees with really thick bark. These are often forest trees that just have a thick bark and thus the normal installation method doesn't work. Uh, so for this, yeah, let's just get started. We're gonna start using a inch and a quarter Forstner bit to drill through the bark and through most of the phloem. You wanna leave about two to three millimeters of phloem for this installation. I also recommend potentially doing a whole a test hole somewhere else so you can get a sense of how thick more or less the bark is and the phloem is. But here we're just gonna get started. So here you can see we went through the initial part of the bark. The bark here is really uh, it's brown colored uh, and then you'll see that then it turns into white which will be phloem. Uh, your tree may vary so let's just we're just gonna keep going here. And so here we made it into the phloem. You can tell because it's a different color. Also, the phloem is soft. So here we use a screwdriver uh, to see how thick the phloem is. So I'm just gonna press through here and we'll just see. All right, and so you can see it's going in pretty, uh, a decent amount. Uh, so let's see. And here we have about five millimeters. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into this. So let's just keep drilling a little bit more. and then we can check again, right? And so take your time uh, to do this properly. Uh, we just wanna leave about two millimeters. That looks pretty good. So the next step is we're gonna get ready and install the sleeve. So here we have the sleeve, right? This is what it looks like. And we got the cap. This step, we want this step to be at the flowing level, to go slightly into the flowing. So we're gonna thread these together. Rotate them together like so. And then we're gonna use this 3D printed piston to put them in here. Uh, so this all fits. There's a little groove here that fits this groove. Uh, so you can just kind of rotate them in place. That's what it looks like. And then this will allow us to put this in. Uh, we're gonna put it in the center. You wanna make sure that the nails are on the sides, right? So you want the nails on the sides. Uh, so. I'm gonna put it in here, center it. It's gonna look and make sure that it is where I want it to be. And that looks good. And then we can just hold it and hammer it in place. And that, and I'm gonna check a little bit more, make sure that that's good. Yep, great. And then we can just start hammering. Uh, and again, you, you want to get this step to show you again, this step right here with my, where my nail is here, uh, into the floor. Uh, just a little bit, that, that'll be the right, that'll give you the right depth. So just gonna keep going a little bit. Let's see, hammer it. And then you can just check periodically. Uh, actually that looks almost ready. So put this on again and hammer it a little bit more. Okay, that's probably good enough. Yep, that looks good. So you can use this piston to unthread the cap. Or you can do it by hand, up to you. And yeah, that looks great. The, the step is like all the way into the floor uh, at the right depth, right? Again, you don't wanna go too, too far. The next step is gonna be drill. So into the sleeve. So we're gonna put a, a new drill bit. This is what it looks like. It has a drill stop right here, right, that sets the depth, so we can just use it right away. Go in, clean off the excess from the bit. Go in again, and that looks good. Uh, the, the xylem in here looks good. If it looked like dark or some weird color, you might wanna do a new installation place. And the next step is we're gonna use the mating compound. This is a cowlin slurry. Comes in a syringe like this. I'm just gonna remove the cap. And then once you do this, uh, when you stop, when you're done using it, you can put the cap on it again. And we also recommend putting some parafilm to prevent it from, from drying out. That way you can reuse this part. All right, so we can put a, a syringe tip, needle tip on it. And then we're just gonna fill in this all the way from the back, right? So you wanna put this in all the way and then start squeezing it. The point is to avoid any air bubbles in there. So I'm filling it in, filling it in. Yeah, that looks good. Once you start doing this, you wanna move quickly because this dries out. 
So let's just get into it. We're gonna remove the stencil capsule. Once you remove the capsule, move quickly. The sensor can cavitate within a minute or two. Put the sensor in a little bit, and then we can get the cap and thread it over the wires. And then the cap presses on the spring. Let's see here. Yep. Cap presses on the spring and then that presses on the sensor. So uh, you can thread it in by hand a bit. If this gets difficult, you can use the piston again. And the piston just kind of makes everything easier. So you just rotate it with the piston until it stops rotating. Let's see. Here it stops. You want to wait a little bit because that gives the, the cowlin or the mating compound some time to settle. And then you can rotate it a little bit more. All right, so initially I didn't want to rotate so much. Now I'm rotating it. Now let's just wait another few seconds for things to move in there, settle, and then we can rotate it a little bit more. And so we'll just keep waiting and rotating, maybe for a good, you know, 20, 30 seconds until things stop moving. Oh, we can still rotate it somewhat. Let's see. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, it doesn't want to rotate anymore. So cool. All right, so we're done with this. Now we can remove the piston. We just pull it out. We're almost done. Uh, next step is we're gonna clean off the excess mating compound from this area. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we're gonna seal. So to seal, we use this compound, M1. It comes with your kit. So you can cut the tip and then we're just gonna press it in all the way in from the bottom, right? You really wanna seal the bottom. So make sure that that's getting done properly. Let's see here. I'm just kind of going around and making sure that the sealant touches the bottom, right? And that we're filling it in all the way. And that looks pretty good. You know, do the best you can, fill this in. Uh, let's see here. All right. So that looks pretty good, right? We just seal the bottom. Uh, again, to prevent water from infiltrating or from losing water in this area. So, great. And then the final step is we're gonna put a bubble wrap. And this, the main thing about this is, uh, well, one thing is you might want to attach the wire somewhere so there's not flopping around so that the sensor doesn't get yanked. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to put bubble wrap. And this the main thing uh, for this is it'll, it'll just prevent UV light from reaching the sensor, protect it against sunlight. That's really it. So, yeah, so we can just put it on and you can use uh, a few different things, zip ties. In this case, we can just use a uh, staple gun and that works out pretty nicely for these forest species. Uh, but you know, your mileage may vary. All right, so that looks great. Thank you.